Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can install Git into our system. Okay, so basically Git is a version controlling system. Okay, if you want to learn about Git and GitHub, we will be covering those topic in the upcoming video. For now, our focus is to how we can install Git into your system, right? So first of all, go to the browser and search for Git download. And then you will be able to see the first link tap over it. So as you can see, Git can be installed in Mac. Linux and Windows. Since I am a Windows user, I will be tapping over here. And as I, al I already know that my system configuration is 64 bit, I'll be typing over here. And then I will be getting a 64 bit exe file. Okay, so this is the file that we are looking. Okay, so let us wait for a few moments. So basically, the size of the exe file is 50.5. Okay, and currently I am on Windows 11. Okay. Let us wait for the download to be done and it is completed. Once the download is completed, you just have to tap over the file, the exe file. And then we are going to do the basic installation. So it is very easy. You just need to tap over next. And this is the default path. I would recommend you to go with the default path. Tap on next. Okay. If you want the icon, the shortcut icon to be available, to be available on the desktop, just tap over here. Okay, and leave the rest to the default. Tap on next, tap on next, tap on next, and tap on next. Just go on tapping on next, and that is how it will be installed into your system. Okay, and as you can see, it is extracting the files, and Git will be installed into your system. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, it is uh, installing. We just uh, will be just covering why there is a need for Git, right? So, basically, whenever you are working in any of the corporate world, right? So, you won't be the only person who will be working in a particular project, right? So, in order to maintain the integrity of the code, we make use of Git, right? So, that is why the name has been given to Git version controlling system, right? Okay, so let us just wait for the installation to be get uh, to be completed. Okay, so once it is done, we'll be getting a CLI based uh, command line over in front of us. Okay, so just tap on launch on git bash and finish. So this is how a git terminal looks like. Okay, so in order to check whether git is installed into your system or not, just tap git hyphen hyphen version. And as you can see, we have successfully installed Git over a system and the latest version is 2.39.2. Okay. And I hope this video was fruitful for you. And if you are someone who is looking to learn about Git and GitHub, you have to wait for the upcoming video. And till then, see you and have a great day. Bye-bye.